Hey everybody, Chief Meteorologist Brad Benovich here. Get ready for the first real blast of cold air. In fact, this is going to feel more like a winter blast than an autumn blast. It is still autumn, but it is going to be that cold. And maybe the first snowflakes of the season for parts of the mountains, certainly a possibility. Let's show you. We've got a series of cold fronts moving in. The first front's arriving right now as I'm doing this, but the secondary front comes in tonight into tomorrow. And it not only ushers in some really cold air, but it'll bring a little bit of what we call upper level energy and some moisture associated with this upper low. You can see it over the Midwest right now, kind of spinning right there. If I quickly show you the temperatures, it's pretty crazy how cold it is in many areas of the upper Midwest. We've got a lot of 20s showing up right now this morning in uh, parts of Minnesota, even low 20s and teens, a lot of 30s and 40s all the way down into the Ohio Valley. And you kind of get the idea, as you can see, I'm going to turn on the temperatures here a little bit easier to see. You can see that cold air behind the first front, but this second front really has the mother load of cold air. And yes, there is some snow mixed in there. Um, real quickly, I'll pop the surface uh, conditions on. You can see all these blue icons. That's where there's snow being reported and snow mixing with rain. And it's a cold rain up across parts of Michigan. Now, what's going to happen is when that a secondary front moves in, we're going to see the flow switch around to the northwest and then we're going to pick up some moisture from the great lakes and that northwest flow especially when it's perpendicular to the mountains will produce a little bit of snow but uh, that's coming up probably tomorrow night into wednesday but we've already got numerous freeze warnings and all kinds of freeze watches in effect for our area um, this really is a pretty significant cold air mass uh, for our area and this is going to set the stage for some really cold air overnight so if you have a, a garden a farm um, if you want the winter stuff to, to, to stay going, that's okay. But the spring, the summer garden, that's probably going to be done after tonight, especially in the mountains and foothills with the amount of cold air that's coming down. So most of the area is going to be under a freeze warning tonight through tomorrow and likely widespread freeze warnings and even frost advisories for parts of the Charlotte area. So let's look at the future cast and kind of show you that snow as it moves down from the northwest. All right, so one front moves through today, another one moves in tonight, but you can see this upper low and all this energy over the Great Lakes. That's a lot of moisture uh, in the mid-levels, and also the low-level moisture starts to pick up quite a bit as well. Um, as we see some of that Great Lakes water, it's just still pretty warm. Remember, it's still autumn. Get picked up by this cold air and, and move to the southeast. So the one I watch is this lake effect snow band forming off of Lake Michigan. And typically when we see that oriented to the southeast, that will help produce at least some snow showers into parts of North Carolina. Um, not so much tonight. This looks like rain, maybe a few showers along the front, but it's really tomorrow night. Now, hopefully this will play out. You could see going into tomorrow morning, we'll go into tomorrow afternoon. I want to watch this second wave or piece of energy come down. This is a Tuesday night, and you can see there is a, a nice plume coming off of Lake Michigan right there, uh, oriented towards the mountains. Now, West Virginia clearly going to see more of this potential, but if you look closely, some of the high, highest ridges in the Smokies, um, Roan Mountain, Beach, Sugar Mountain, Grandfather Mount Mitchell, up towards uh, Mount Rogers there in southwest Virginia. You could see that those are the areas that typically in this setup see snow. And it might not be showing up on your apps or anywhere else, but this is the kind of setup that typically does produce um, some northwest flow. If you live in the mountains long enough, you know this setup quite well. Um, this is one of those things you'll get a surprise burst of snow, especially with that upper energy. Let me back this up. Um, a couple times and really the, the, the thing that works for snowfall is you get that trajectory from the northwest the warm water of the Great Lakes and then the upper level energy which causes some lift so the combination of all that is kind of a perfect setup and I'll loop this a couple times as it kind of loads you could see all that moisture swinging around and that is a huge upper low that is a really cold um, upper low for this time of year and that's what's bringing the really cold air um, into the Carolinas real quickly just to show you some snowfall possibilities probably a tenth of an inch or less so again we're not getting too crazy with amounts here but just to show you the potential that we're at least going to have a dusting maybe up to an inch at the highest elevations and it will be howling the wind is going to be blowing like crazy so um you snow chasers in the mountains if you want to go see this at the top of the mountain this is going to be a brutally cold setup here as this upper low i'll widen this out just so you can see the setup here i mean that is a great setup for some northwest flow snow especially the first of the season bundle up get ready get those heaters ready to go it is going to be cold for the middle of the week we're talking highs in the mountains might not get out of the 30s across the foothills in the piedmont we're talking highs in the 50s and 30s every morning this week so really cold air enjoy the mild air today because after that it is cold the rest of the week